Alright everyone and welcome to another video. So we're back on the Corsa again. First thing I'm going to do is take the passenger side hub off and replace it with another one. I'll show a picture and I'll show the condition of the rough bearing on the old one and why we're replacing it in parts of the video. We'll also take the car for a little test drive, make sure the baron's fixed and done what it's meant to have done. And then we'll go from there. First of all, I'll show you some stuff I've done on the outside. Okay, as you can see, the old bumpers are off. I've only kept them because I want the fog lights and the front grill and stuff like that. And the car now is looking like this. Much nicer black bumpers. We had our shim replaced properly with all the clips, no screws and stuff. We've got a new set of trims fitted. Run the four new tyres all the way around. Also, rear bumper's been replaced too. Another job I've got to do is get rid of this badge and put another silver one back on. Red mirror cap to get already done this side. So we're starting to get there with the course. Other jobs done is alternate has been replaced. Next job I've got to do is get up in there, strip this out and take the little radiator out. What runs the heaters? First of all we'll go down the road. First of all, we'll go down the road and check this wheel bearing out. So as you can see, we're getting on with the car. Getting bits done. Been a lot of extra bits on this one to, compared to the normal ones. But let's whip it down the road and see if we've got a wheel bearing noise anymore. Pretty sure we haven't because I know that was the problem. And the one I took off was very rough, as you saw in the video. Right, let's see what she's like then, shall we? Get me driveway. You can already tell straight away it's not whining. It's dragging up a little bit, a bit more looking at the bushes. So we'll take it up to 70. Let's see what we got. Well, completely gone. So that's another job ticked off. Let's take it around a roundabout and side to side on some different turns just to make sure we've got no drive shaft noise or anything like that. But I think we're good. This was the side we were putting the pressure on. Look at that, quiet as a mouse. Just what we needed. So we've got the bumpers done, we've done one mirror. Hub changed over, and we're going to attack the heater system next. I think so. Not bad for a morning and afternoon's work so far. We've still got some time left in the day, so let's carry on. Pretty good, but yeah, I'm chuffed with that. Lovely and quiet, drives lovely. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we'll work down here, spin round, work out what we're doing next. Gonna need another good wash now after all this changing parts and putting bumpers on and all stuff like that. That's not a problem, that can be done. It's had the major wash under the bonnet now, which has kept all nice and clean. 
so we're doing pretty well we've got the hub done as you saw done the test drive and it's quiet as a mouse now compared to a boom, 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 boom noise it used to make which is horrible so that's good another job ticked off a box um we changed the bumpers over we've done the front arch trims so they all clip on properly and no screws in them and horrible stuff like that so yeah we're getting along with this one now so next i'm going to go back and take the radiator out from behind the dash get that well basically throw that away put another one in bleed the system and hopefully get some heaters and that'll be another job done that'll probably take me to the end of the day for this one i might just pop and give it a quick car wash i think just to get it cleaned up before we start doing the valentine side of things on it so yeah we're we're coming along nicely which is good okay so i'll see you in a bit i'll bring you back once i start taking this apart okay so i spent half an hour 45 minutes just draining the water system and flushing it through with a hose and i've rebled it took it for a drive and the heat is a lovely and warm so we don't need to change that radar i said about earlier which is a bonus saves me another job so next thing I'm going to do is go and give it a wash again. And then we'll start valeting the interior and buffing the outside. Start making it look like a proper nice shiny car again. Right. So join me doing that in the next part. So we're whacking it through the old car wash. That's already had a proper jet wash by me anyway. It's just got a bit dirty while I've been doing stuff. So we'll whack it through here and then... By the time I get back after a blast down the deal carriageway, it should be fairly dry. I can hit the interior and maybe do some buffing on the bodywork. See how far we can get with it. Should start to look good, hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. Already give it a good old hoover earlier, so that's brought out quite nicely. It's the wet back and has got to be done in the inside, and then all the detail and where it's got to be started. for the top wash here, I'm in a BP garage. being so rough on the cars then. So we've also got a brand new screen fitted.
So I give it a good hoover. Now I gotta get all these stains out of the seats and stuff. And that's what we're about to do. Get some boiling hot water and some detergent. Get this cleaned up. Okay, so this is what it's like inside the wet bag machine. Nice and clean at the moment. I'll show you later on what it's like once we've done the seats. This is what comes out. Colour of that. Nice. 